Good morning, my lovers. Right, I'm here at the big house. Look, he even gets his, the postman comes to him here. Look. He's got a big fountain in the garden. And I, I want to show you this here. Look, at some point they've put a bench next to the tree. And the tree's got so big that it's actually now pushing over the bench. Whoops. Yeah. I don't think I want to sit on that. It might collapse. So I've got my little bag here. And I've got myself a nice signal over here. And around the fountain we go. Yep, next to the uh, ornate little steps. Right, I got my headphones plugged in today, so uh, I'll just have to dig it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do many dive digs because there's a lot of roots and stuff under the ground. It's going to be a bit tricky. Oh, here he comes. Right, sorry about that. That was the landowner. He came to warn me about a pipe. There's a big pipe that feeds the fountain. It comes out of the hillside behind the, behind the house and uh, comes down and it feeds the uh, fountain. Right, I think I got my signal. Just here somewhere. Oh. There it is. A buckle. I haven't found a buckle for ages. I was thinking, I was just thinking this morning, I haven't found any buckles. Right. On to the next. I haven't been doing too well with the coins. I found loads of stuff. How about that for dying? I've got. I've made him a little pile. Got bits of lead, dead cow. I thought that was a champagne cork when I first saw it. Buckle, window lead, a little shotty, shotgun cap. Living high on the hog here, look, gold top. And I've just had a veil head. Nineteen hundred. So, not very good pickings at the moment. So uh, I'm going to get back to it. Oh, my, my battery's about to run out. I better swap that over. Right, let's get back. Ooh, look what I just found here, my lovers. I can wipe this one off the bucket list. It's a bull ring. What they used to put through bulls' noses. Very nice. One half. But the cow didn't used to like it, I expect. It's like a severe bit of piercing, that is. What did I do? Drive a nail through there? Bait flinch a bit. Hmm. Yep, one half of a ball ring. Oh, nicked it a bit. Oh, it's pity it's not made of gold. Look, look at it shining. Oh, yeah. Right, on to the next. Right, I reckon I got a coin here. It was giving me 1218 and it had some really nice little colours inside the crosshairs. So, I reckon I might have something. Ah. Oh, I don't think it's a coin. It's one of them rings. Well, it's like a harness type ring, in it? Or something along those lines. A bit small, I thought. Pick up a lot of these. Right. 
Oh well, on to the next. Right, I don't know what this signal's gonna be, but it's just here. It was jumping around a lot, so it might be a bit of rubbish. There's a big root right in the way. anything. Oh look, there's a bit of preserving jar, look. Victorian preserving jars. I'll go and sh he's got some intact, some of these, on his steps. I'll go and show you them in a minute. Right. Yeah, it's a bit of a big signal. I don't think it's going to be very good. A bit of old iron or something. What's that? That looked a bit leady. Is that lead? Must be it's bloody heavy. Oh, look, it's uh that was strange. We were we were just me and the landowner were just talking about the the railings when during the war when they had to have your railings taken, the metal. And they ended up dumping it all in the North Sea. Well, that is from where the railings. This is the lead that went into a hole in the wall, and here's the steel, and the lead kept the railings in place. So they put the railings in, all rattly like, and they pulled Milton lead in, it set and held the railings. And that's what that is. Isn't that bizarre? We were just chatting about it. I'm going to have to go and have a chat. There we go. Oh. Preserving jar. Victorian.
bit of rolled up copper. Two massive roots in the way. I don't know. I don't know if it's silver. I'll get it cleaned up and get back to you. Look, I think it's silver plated. I'm not sure what it is. Possibly an old bell, part of an old bell. But it's got these... These dents here A part of it. Look. See them that they're evenly matched, look. So it's broke there and broke there, but these holes are supposed to be there. A silver plated crotobell? Dunno. 
pod. Right, I'm going to have to pack up soon. Coming up to six o'clock and I've got to get down the pub for a few jars of ale. You see, you never can tell with these old houses. It's definitely an old house, look. It's got stone mullions. But uh, as for finds, me thinking I was going to dig up gold coins was a... Uh, well, it didn't happen, did it? This is it. One solitary coin. Queen Victoria. So unless someone else has beat me to it, which could happen, that's what I reckon's happened. I reckon someone's beaten me to it. So there's not much point in doing the garden, because I expect they've done the garden as well. But it is a jolly nice garden. Yeah, I'll go dig a loads of holes in his lawn. Mm. Right. I'm off down the pub. Cheers. Oh, good afternoon, my lovers. Right, I didn't get out this morning because the forecast people said it was going to rain and it didn't so I'm a bit late getting out I've been already walking around this field for an hour and I'm not finding much um, so this is the best find I've had up to date dog lead and it's a tokeny thing it's a bit corroded I don't think I'm going to get a number or anything off of it might be to give it a scrub. Right, a little bottle. And the thing somewhere. Ah. Tough brush. No, can't find the brush. Right, I'll just give it a clean. The hand. Right. Mm. Oh, I can see some writing on there. It's corroded. No, it's on that rough side. No, it's too far gone. And that's it. Let's get digging. Look what I got here, my lovers. After an hour of searching, I got a... Looks like a button. Just an ordinary flat button, I think. Um, there might be something on there. Can't really see. I don't know if you could see better. Right, on to the next. Right, I got something here, my lovers. I got to change the battery on my uh, pinpointer. You know, I had the signal, and then suddenly the signal disappeared. And that's because the pinpointer turned itself off. 
But here it is. Mm. Looks a bit smooth. Do a quick rub on my trousers. Oh, there it goes, just turned itself off again. Right, let's have a quick look. Well, I can see bugger all on there. Yeah, completely smooth. I'd probably go with a George, but that is completely smooth. Right, on to the next. Right, I got a signal near my lovers. Ah, turn it on. Ah, I did have a signal in there. Ah. What's that there? There it is. What's that then? Dunno. It's like a little cap for something. Dunno though. Ah, I think it might be one of those bicycle caps, look, you can see the uh that sort of grippy edge there, look. So it's probably a very old bicycle looking at this this cap because I don't think they make them like that anymore. Yeah, bicycle cap. <laughs> Give me a bit of an iron signal too. So I suppose there might be a bit of iron in there. Right, on to the next. Right, I just had this signal here, my lovers. And it oh, was getting bigger and bigger. Anyway, I put the uh, coil down the hole, because it's quite a small little coil, really. And I went down there, and as, the, as it went down, the signal turned to an iron signal. So I'll have to remember that in future. And as it turned out to be, it was little, a little horseshoe. But it was giving me a nice signal on the surface, but when I put the coil down the hole, it gave me a more of an iron grunt, so that's the thing with iron, and it? it always does that. And it's an iron ring. It gave me a lovely signal, that did. Right, that's going in the hedge. It might be an old one, but I've got tons. Looks like the weather's taken a turn for the worst. It doesn't look too bad on the camera, but I can tell you it's a lot darker. These cameras seem to uh, intensify the light. Yeah, hopefully it is this the shower and not persistent precipitation. Right, I'm going to hide under this tree for a little while, have a puff, have a vape, and hopefully this shower will go away if it is one. But it's not looking very good at the moment. Right, I've got a signal near my lovers. Oh no! I knew it was going to be one of them. Shotgun cap. <sighs> right, on to the next. <sighs> this weather's getting worse. It was showers earlier, but now it's like persistent precipitation. So, I think I'm going to have to call it a day early. I'm starting to get a bit wet. And, uh, the 
warm dryness of a pub with a few pints of ale is tempting. Mm. Sitting there, nice uh, smoking shower with the heat lamp on me. Mm. Sit there, wait for my dad to turn up, and then have Sunday lunch. Roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, cauliflower cheese. So yeah, it's getting worse. So I'm going to make a dash for the pub, I think. Call it a day early. Haven't found much today. Still, just get, good to get out. Well, sometimes it is. Right, see you next weekend.